Hey y'all and welcome to this week's video. Um, I'm gonna start by saying this is editing Courtney because I did do a voiceover while I did this gameplay, but uh, apparently my mic input on OBS reset and I didn't notice. So what came through was like just the game and then like a blank voiceover track. Anyway, so we're, we're gonna try and after do the voiceover cause this was like 45 minutes of playing and I'm not redoing it all. <laughs> um, so anyway, back back to what we're doing. This is where we ended last time. Exactly. She's still asleep. Homeboy was still on the couch watching television. Um, so we're just going to get through the night and start the next day. And we woke up in just enough time for her to once again go to class in her pajamas. So, yeah, that's what's happening. Homeboy left lots of trash in my apartment and I don't appreciate that. But anyway, uh, let's get through class and yeah, we'll be back. Okay, so number one on the agenda is cleaning up the mess that Homeboy made. I don't know if y'all saw, but like he basically made this mess and then like played in it and then bailed. <laughs> So I'm not, I'm not really sure what's up with that. But anyway, yeah, we're going to clean that up because um, all that's doing is just making her mood terrible and we don't want that. Um, then while she was in class, the male person came and delivered everyone's bills and she has the money to pay him now. So she might as well pay him instead of, you know, forgetting and getting evicted. That won't help with anything. Um, so she is hungry, but... We got to make sure that we stay on top of her classwork. And if she has a job, which I don't think she does right now, um, that we stay on top of that too. So she's still in her pajamas. A homegirl is just living in these pajamas. Right. Okay. Oh, she does have a job. Right. Okay. So she, she does have a job, but she has until like Saturday to get it done. So, I mean, she's got plenty of time and hunger is the only thing in the yellow. So, yeah. That would, of course, be the first thing I did when she got back from class. I think I did all of her, like, side work. Um, like, not homework, but, like, the stuff she has to do for her final, like, the term papers and stuff. I think the term papers all she had. And I think we might have gotten it done. You know, I don't remember, as I have slept since I recorded this. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, let's, let's just go ahead and, and get her fed and then we can move on with whatever shenanigans we're going to get up to next. Okay. So this is about the time, um, I just decided to go ahead and take care of her needs and then start on the job. So the job, um, if you didn't notice, like when I clicked on it, she has a job that she basically had to talk to the client and then create three web pages. She's already talked to the client, um, but I haven't had her do any of the web pages and it is Wednesday and it's due on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. So like there's only so much like <laughs> there's only so much more like stalling we can do with it. So, um, you know, step one was at least to go ahead and get the first one done even though it's only Wednesday. So that way she has the rest of the week to do the rest of the tasks, um, which is around about the time that other homeboy showed up. Um, he comes over to work out a lot, like really often, abnormally often. So I, I, I don't know. He just really likes working out. Um, whoa, that was loud. Every time this thing goes off, it startles me. Anyway, we named the web page one because I don't really care what it's named. I like we're just going to turn it into the client. It's not really important. Um, and she gained some fame. So she's got that first block, that notable newcomer. It says that she's earned her very first fame point, uh, which is hers to keep. And fame points can be used to purchase fame packs within the fame info panel. Um, and all of that. It's just really that first step in fame. The thing is, um, when I went to the fame panel, which I think I'm doing in a second. Yeah, here we go. I don't actually have a fame point. Like it says fame point zero. So I'm not, maybe that's a typo in the Sims. 
I, I wouldn't be surprised. This this game has a lot of bugs happening. Um, but the good thing is I don't have any quirks yet, which is nice. Because um, the quirks, like, they're not bad enough to, like, make the game suck. But they are definitely bad enough to make it kind of annoying. Um, it'll just be dumb things. Like, she only likes really fancy food. So, like, every time she eats something, if her cooking skill isn't high enough, like, she'll get really upset about it. It's It's annoying. Um, I remember when we talked about Don Lothario, we went on a very nice date. Well, that's nice. Um, Don Lothario has a fear of commitment, if I remember correctly. But, you know, that's that's fine. You do you. Um, what's funny is, like, now that he's not around, we decided to go to the gym. Um, but at least we're taking him with us. Okay, here we are at the gym, and she's still feeling flirty for some reason. There's a protest going on. I don't think I've ever actually shown up here and there been an active protest. I clicked on her trying to find out what the protest is for, but it doesn't tell you. But, I mean, you can join it. So, I mean, I, I guess hopefully it's something you support if you do decide to join it. Who knows? Either way, we came here to get a workout on um, because, you know. She's a, a college student and an entrepreneur. She's got to keep her skill up. Look at how she's running. <laughs> like, I'm not a runner. I'm definitely not a runner. Like, I, I exercise, but I much prefer weightlifting um, to, to running. If you see me running, it's because something scary is chasing me. And you should probably be running, too. That being said... I've never actually seen anyone run like this, like she is right now. That like early Sims run track that they do when you don't have a lot of skill in the fitness thing yet. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone run like that. Like even brand new. Like she, she looks like she's doing a lot of wobbling on the top half. Like I know she's kind of top heavy. She's got, you know, some boobs and stuff, but that shouldn't make her... Anyway. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, well. Okay, for a second we were doing better. We're not doing better anymore. So I guess this is just what we're doing. Whatever. Where is the guy we came with? Oh, there he is. Whoa. Sirs, sirs, we are in the gym. Like, how y'all just going? Just that's not why we're here. It's just acting like it's cool. We just, we just going tug each other down to the gym and then going about our lives. I guess that's crazy. And didn't he say he went on a date with Don Lothario? That's not Don Lothario. That's Eco Living, dude. <laughs> it's it's already messy, and and she's not even involved. We're just running on the treadmill. And it's already messy. Don't fall, please. If you fall, I'm, I'm going to be forced to laugh. They're talking about beds. See, look, y'all are in public. Who is she talking to? Homegirl is just on the treadmill talking to herself. Whatever. Yeah, you do what you got to do to get through your workout, I guess. Okay, so she feels good. We're we're doing nice. She is. This other girl is giving homeboy a massage after he just tongued down our best friend. But sure, this is the weirdest. Like, look at this. All of a sudden, everyone's here, and then this other dude is flirting with homeboy. Look, mess. Dude from Eco Living is messy. He's just being messy and not even like privately messy. He's being messy in public in front of all of these people. I'm dead. I don't think I've ever actually seen this particular sim just be all messy like this. But that's, I guess that's just what we're doing. Whatever. Where'd he go? Did he miss all of this? I guess he missed it. I distinctly remember seeking this guy out and making the introduction for the sole purpose of being messy on behalf of my homeboy. So that's that's what that was. And then we finally just decided to to get back to why we were in the gym in the first place, which was actually to exercise and not be involved in shenanigans. Jack. Jack. 
Oh, her grades came in. Okay, A plus, A plus, B minus, A minus average. I mean, it's still an A. I wish it was an A plus average, but you know what? It's, it's fine. We're going to take it. They're not terrible grades. That's fine. We'll go ahead and sign up for another term and do the same thing we did this last time, which was three classes without an elective. Um, if you do three, cal three classes, um, you only have to do four go rounds, which I guess kind of fits. Technically speaking, if you just go to straight up college and do it all at once, it's four years. So, I mean, you know, if it it's, it's fine. This is me super speeding through basically the rest of her workout and her introducing herself to a bunch of people because you can't really be messy with people if you don't know anybody, right? So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then finally, once, you know, she was finished her workout, we went ahead and went home. So this is about the time in the playthrough when I remembered that there's a holiday today and it's the lottery and I haven't bought the lottery ticket so let's go ahead and get that out of the way before we get down to homework because it's only Wednesday which means we have class tomorrow and we have done none of it because we left the house and went to the gym instead. First up however we need a shower because we just came from the gym so you know smelly and then um, we start the homework. And um, the job we have is the three websites. We still have that one. Um, we've only done one. So we might have time to try and get a second one in before it gets too late. Because um, it's only 740, but we'll see. Then there's this weirdness again where she has a dining room table and a counter with chairs. And she goes into her bedroom and sits on the side of the bed in her street clothes to do her homework it's it's whatever and then she's gonna put the book down on the floor instead of putting it back in her inventory I really don't understand how these sims are coded but it it's like the little things like that that just drive me nuts about them yep right on the floor instead of in her inventory so now I have to go tell her to put it in her inventory <laughs> anyway, um, and then we will move on because I think she only has one class the next day. Um, but she does need to eat and go to the bathroom. Yeah, and she's getting kind of tired. So I don't know. I guess it depends on where that energy line is when she finishes eating. Also, her neighbors are being loud, so she can't go to sleep anyway. So, you know, you might as well use that time productively and get something done, right? Okay, eating is done. She does need to use the bathroom. Her energy bar is in the red, but, you know, like I said, her neighbors are being loud, so she can't go to sleep anyway. She's just going to be irritated about it, so might as well get some work done. Work on this freelancing job and get the second of three websites done so that we're not, like, waiting till the last minute on Saturday morning. Because it's, like, Saturday morning at 9 a.m., not, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't want her to miss out on that money, like... She's not really hurting for money, but still, like, let's not make her hurt for money. She's got a lot going on right now because she's got the job and school and all that stuff. So, yeah, finish that second one. And then, yeah, they finally stop so she can go to bed and get on with her Thursday. Now that it's 3 a.m. Wow, she's going to I hope she's not too tired tomorrow. I guess we'll see how that goes in a second. Um, what page name? It's not 52. Yeah, it's two because we don't care what it's named. And now we're going to bed. And we will see you and her in the morning. Ew, love day. Okay, real talk. I usually take that off my calendar. I think I just forgot this time to update the calendar. I usually take off love day and there's a couple others. And then add in the ones that I actually want to be there. But I forgot that this time. It's fine. Um, she lost the lottery. We saw that little emoji thing down at the bottom. I've never actually had a sim win the lottery, so there's that. I, I really think it's always going to be NPC, but, you know, whatever. Okay. 
sir? Why are you just walking in my apartment? Like, I know we live in the same building, but come on now. Oh, I hate this mechanic. They just wander up in your place whenever, wherever they feel like it to ask you to be their best friend. And then if you say no, because like you're already best friends with someone else or whatever, then it damages your relationship, which is dumb. But anyway, apparently that, that question is their reason to completely invade your space. And she has mice again. Man. Oh, she's eating. We'll take care of it later. Like in a second. Plus I have to move the chair again. I might have to think of another place to put that chair permanently, but I really like it there. It's just blocking that mouse hole. This was about the time I noticed I was having that weird issue where sometimes when you come out of build by mode, you have like frame rate of potato. Sometimes it's fixed if you go into and come back out of build by mode, but uh, sometimes it's not. Um, <laughs> and then we had the weird glitch where going into build by mode to put the chair back, reset everything which doesn't make any sense because I didn't touch her. But here we are, reset again. Um, this game has so many like little tiny annoying bugs and that's one of them. The other one is that weird thing where she like was over by the mouse hole and then suddenly appeared by the dining room table and then blinked back over to the mouse hole. Ugh. Anyway, um, prank call. Yeah, we're hanging up. It doesn't make a difference if you don't hang up, but I always hang up on those because they don't ever amount to anything unless it's that one where somebody calls and says like your great, great uncle twice removed or something left you money. And even then it only makes a difference if you say the right thing. So anyway, um, moving on, homeboy left the apartment and decided to do sit ups on the really dirty floor in the hallway. So I guess we're going to go ahead and try and do some work. Um, it's only, oh, it's only two, but it's raining outside in the Sims. So, so it seems like it's really late, but she does have some homework to get done. So let's get started on that. And we can, if we have time, do some more of the actual work that we get paid for instead. Okay, homework is done. She put it down on the floor again, so I'm having her put it in her inventory. And then we have actually one more website to build. We already have two of the three, so this should be the final one. Um, and we'll have it done on a Thursday night instead of like last minute on a Saturday morning. So that's nice. And then the blue screen of death. I know, heartbreaking. She was almost done with that third website too, but I'm not replacing this laptop. We're just gonna fix it. At this point, we fixed so many things in this apartment that um, her, what's it called? Handiness still should be okay um, to fix this. And then she's not going to sleep anytime soon because as I can hear, her neighbors are playing really loud music at 10 o'clock at night. So she might as well just go ahead and fix it and then finish her website. And then hopefully by then they'll be done with their music. So the page is finally done. We have to give it a name. We still don't care what the name is. And her neighbors are still blasting music. So she's still angry about it. Um, it is almost midnight. <laughs> take an angry poop and then take a cold shower. Maybe they'll be done by then. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, she is hungry. Yeah. So I tried the angry flaming spaghetti because I don't think I've ever actually had someone in an apartment that tried to cook when their like primary emotion was anger. So I've never tried it. And I just wanted to see if that meant like, is, is the spaghetti angry? Is it spicy? Like what, uh, what is that? 
Um, I also did not know why she wouldn't take a shower. So there's another of the many, many bugs in The Sims where sometimes your shower will glitch out and like your Sim will not be able to get to your shower. They'll do that, that same motion that she just did. Like they can't get to it. And there's nothing wrong with your shower. They've probably used it before. It's just like all of a sudden they can't use the shower. And the only way to fix it usually is to basically sell the shower that you have and like replace it with the exact same thing and then it'll work again it's so dumb and i don't understand what it is i also don't understand why it's still a bug but whatever um you know i'm i'm in it but i'm not in software development so you know maybe it's really difficult to fix i don't know but here we are cooking um she didn't actually take a shower so we'll try that again after she finishes her angry spaghetti which you know hopefully is good I guess I don't know and then once again we will say hopefully by the time she's done with the angry spaghetti she'll be ready to go to bed oh yeah they stopped they finally just stopped so when she's finished all this she can finally go ahead and go to sleep it's 1 a.m but her bed is like okay it's, it's not like the most expensive best bed in the game but it's okay so I think she should be okay um as far as getting to bed and having enough time to get almost at least a full night's of sleep and a full night's worth of sleep. There we go. Um, she might end up going to class in her pajamas again, but we'll see. Um, as you can see, the angry spaghetti is indeed spicy. Um, and it slows down the eating mechanic here because every bite she takes, she has to do the flamey do. Yeah. See every single bite. So, um, you know, there's, there's a warning for that if you decide to try that dish. It does indeed slow down the eating because she has to stop and be flamey face after each and every bite. <laughs> okay, so a lot of things happened all at once. Um, we got dust. She's waking up because it's time for class and it's love day, which I forgot to remove from the calendar. And now I have to wait until the week's over to remove it. So hopefully I'll remember that next time I sit down to play. Um, I don't know why this dust bunny is in the hallway. It's weird that the dust bunny is in the hallway. I figured it would be in my apartment, but no, hallway it is. And we have a leaky pipe to fix when we get back. Oh, all right, cool. So, uh, yeah. Dust bunny in the hallway, leaky pipe. Finally back from class and we're gonna try the shower thing again since it's in the yellow and then, nope, she has another class, which I completely forgot about. So never mind. off she goes in her pajamas yet again. Okay, second time's the charm. Um, we opted to try for the pipe because fixing the pipe first makes the most sense because sometimes when she's finished fixing something, like her hygiene is all the way down. So if she'd taken a shower and then it got really smelly from the fix, I'd, I'd have been salty. So um, it turns out it didn't matter because she didn't get smelly from the fix, but whatever. Um, we went ahead and had her vacuum because I honestly wanted to see if that dust bunny in the hallway would go away because it's not in my apartment and it did. So I, I don't know, bug, I guess that sometimes in apartments, the dust bunnies spawn outside the room. Um, and we're going to go ahead and try the shower again. Maybe it'll work today. We'll see in a second. Okay, well, the shower's working, but she broke the sink, so I guess a good and a bad there. So she's decided she likes fixing things, and I picked yes for that because, well, the game said she likes fixing things. Um, and considering the apartment she lives in has the needs TLC um, characteristic, I figured that was probably a good one for her to have. Um, which is also why I went ahead and searched for parts in the trash, because like, I don't know. Normally, I probably would have just thrown it away, but I figured it was a good idea. Um, then I decided, you know, because 
homeboy who apparently I am his only friend um, said he wanted to work out, but like he just comes in the apartment. You don't, <laughs> you don't actually work out. Like at least when they come past and say like, Hey, um, something smells good in there. Can I eat? Like they'll come in and eat. But like all he does is he starts doing like push ups in the middle of the floor. So it's just like a regular hangout thing, not actually a workout hangout thing. So whatever, you know, he can keep on doing sit ups and stuff. Uh, her hunger is in the yellow, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And then I guess if, if she decides she wants to work out, we'll just go to the gym because all we're doing now is just sitting here eating and talking with our friend from across the hall. So I realized that I didn't have anything necessarily for them to do while hanging out except for like watching a movie. And she's got like a little over five grand now so like there was no financial reason for her not to have the little gaming system the pick the green one it's not the same shade of green as everything else like she's got more like of a mint green no no that's not right but it's just not the same shade of green <laughs> um but i picked the green because you know all of the kind of accent furniture in her living room is green and nothing else was even close so here we go two different shades of green but at least this way she's got something that they can do together so they're gonna go ahead and have some happy friend memories i guess by playing a game together for a little while since he's there and all the working out that happened involved him in the middle of the kitchen floor by himself so yeah Okay, so the gaming is done. They're just kind of socializing here. And I basically went through uh, the list of people that she knew, picked a sim that, you know, seemed kind of cute and called him and invited him to come over because uh, honestly, because I was getting bored and I decided that to amuse myself, we were going to be messy. That's that's why i mean that's that's why we started this right that's why we started this playthrough that's why it's called heartbreaker it was totally to be messy that alert is so loud sorry if that startles you the way it startles me every time it goes off anyway so we called over a uh, dude from the the island living pack because i don't remember his relationship or anything like that and you know like when i went through all of his like what's it called the sim profile and everything she doesn't think he's like you know basic looking so and and my best friend here doesn't care because you know he likes the dudes and this is not one of the dudes i've seen him flirting with so it worked out nicely plus it is love day and if she doesn't at least do something having to do with love day she's gonna be sad the whole next day because she had a bad what's it called not not vacation you know what I'm talking about. She had a bad special day thing. Um, so I figured, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Be messy so that we're not quite as bored. And get the love day thing going on. So uh, here we go. Yeah. We're, we're being, we're going to be messy for a second. Hold on. <laughs> so one of the love day things that she really likes is the date heart so we already did the first one that she has a heart behind so we went ahead and asked him on a date um to i think we ended up going to the burger bar it, it kind of got a little stuck here and i'm not really sure what was happening i think it's because that call came in from kenji at the exact same time it eventually let go like you can see but yeah that was weird i've never actually had that happen in my game before where it just kind of was trying to load into the world and it just wouldn't um so yeah we i thought about sending them to the like university age like young adult age hangout but that's just a coffee house so we ended up going to the burger bar because it was like well you know then they can like sit down like get a table sit down and eat and even though it's a teenage hangout it's fine whatever it's just just to get the love day thing over with Okay, so here we are at our date. We're very flirty. Um, we have to socialize 10 times, request a table, and socialize about meal, which was a weird one. Because um, I, I guess I just never thought about some of the socialized bits being specifically about the food you're eating. So um, might as well start 
the socialization before we get a table because you know there is a time limit on these um so we're just gonna stand here in the front of the store or the burger bar and flirt anyway you have to give like enough time for yay first kiss all in public and stuff um but you have to give enough time for everyone to show up like the waiters and waitresses and everything because it's not they're usually not there when you first like pop into the the lot so now that you know we've given it a second we've seen a couple of them walk past there's a bunch of random people dancing over there i'm pretty sure that there's at least enough people here for us to be able to like do our date without it being a problem um once again this is considered a party for her well, like by the moodlet and maybe i just don't understand all the things that party sims consider a party because like to me this isn't a party <laughs> but i'm also an introvert and not a party animal i don't know Either way, it looks like most of the people have loaded into the lot because we could see the guy, you know, cooking up a storm back there. So the lot is like sideways. So, yeah, we had to go over to kind of the side here to request a table, but that's fine. Um, since the, the hostess is in and most of the waiters and waitresses look to be in, we went ahead and requested a table. Um, I forgot these tower things. They're like heat lamps. So you actually have a positive moodlet when you sit by them for a while. So that was nice. Um, she walks all the way around the table. I totally thought she was just going to sit across from him, but she doesn't. She sits next to him. But we're going to go ahead and order for the table because why not? Um, they didn't have a lot. Like there's, I mean, I guess it's a burger bar, so it makes sense. I think it's funny that the chef's choice is milk that's hysterical but we went with sour punch for both of us because you know that seems more like an adulty drink um they didn't do any appetizers none of them really look that exciting anyway and then we stuck with um something well i mean the blt is the chef the chef lord the chef's choice so we just went ahead and picked that so we've got drinks and food coming and it comes up to like 66 bucks for that's $33 a person. Dude, I better be getting hella good food if I'm spending 33 bucks a plate. But anyway, maybe I'm just like, I don't know, cheap or I don't know. Our economy sucks right now, y'all. I'm just real sensitive about prices, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so we've gone ahead. We have ordered for the table. Um, this actually went pretty well. I I'm not I'm hesitant to say it's because like the Sims have actually fixed the whole dine out experience and more inclined to say it's because I have uh Carl's dine out mod which basically fixes a lot of the bugs so I'm I'm gonna assume that that's why this experience went pretty well it didn't take us like 15 hours to get our food we didn't just not get our food which happens a lot um and there is also the ability if your food is stuck or your waiter or waitress is stuck you can like get up and get your food yourself um but i ended up not having to do that because honestly the whole time we were waiting for the food i was just going ahead and socializing with the date because i was like here we're at six of ten um and so i was just you know clicking through the socialized bits trying to get up to that 10 so i can at least get the main goal done before we start working on the side goals i mean the the side goals are nice and everything but the main goal is what we really wanted to get done before we get out of here okay here's our food and like you can see it didn't take as long as it normally takes so we've got our food there was a little like weirdness about like eating it or whatever like um what happens like her plate wasn't cleared or something but eventually the waitress came back and cleared it towards the end so for right now we're just eating with this dude uh in our personal space but whatever um i don't know why she's embarrassed i don't remember like I told you guys, this is like afterwards that I'm doing the voiceover because my original voiceover is gone. Um, <laughs> they had the same exact reaction to the drink at the same exact time. That was funny. Anyway, so uh, we're going to go ahead and eat. Um, I have to discuss the food. Is that what it's called? 
socialize about meal that's what it's called and it's got like the little fork and knife next to it and it wants you to do it three times um so i found one and i did that one but it doesn't look like it counted because it still says zero three and it never changed from zero three so i mean i guess it's not the end of the world or anything but i was trying to get that socialize about a meal situation ha happening but it just didn't work out that way either way i'm at nine of ten at the main goal so <laughs> After a second, it was just like, you know what? I'm just going to like get that done and then uh, work on like the deep conversation, which is under friendly, but wasn't showing every time I clicked on friendly. The person who just cleared his plate was not the waitress. I did not notice that when I was playing. That was a patron. That was somebody who's supposed to be here. <laughs> That's probably why it messed up because somebody who wasn't the waitress cleared his plate with food still on it. Anyway. Whatever. I didn't notice that at the time. So um, she got the main goal done and it, it takes you through like the first two bars and then you got to get that last bar on your own. So I was trying the deep conversation thing, but like I said, it's not there all the time. I think I think it depends on like the situation you're in and like how much the person likes you at that moment or something. I don't know. But um, I got one of two. So I'm like over the halfway mark as far as like whether the date is good or not. Um, but yeah, so now we've got this BLT that's like stuck, but she's not eating it. Um, but I decided to go ahead and get them dessert because, you know, why not? Like, you know, you're on a nice date and all of those things. Um, the plate being there like stuck on the table or whatever, I think is why she got up and walked around to the other side of the table. But either way, they didn't have a lot of choices for dessert either, which I guess I'm not really surprised about. It's a burger bar. So we ended up looking, <laughs> looking at all these and I didn't go with the chef's choice apple pie. I went for this super chocolate Tummer's bomb cupcake because it's funny. I just like the name. The name made me giggle, um, but it's just a cupcake. So went ahead and ordered one of, well, two of them, like one for each of us. Um, and then waited for that. Um, this is about the time where I was like, I wonder if this is where it's going to like mess up or something. Um, but it didn't, it, it went okay. I was on my way. You'll see in a second to go get the cupcakes for the table, just like on my own. And she ended up beating me to it and bringing them to the table. So we went ahead and had the second deep conversation. So we've completed the silver bar and we're halfway through the gold bar. And the only other thing we have to do is the socialize about meal three times. And one, there's no meal right now, so I can't socialize about it. And I couldn't find like, I think I did, I did the one that I thought was it. And then I never saw another one because then all the food was gone, I guess. I don't know. So either way. We're just going to try and it's not going to be like a gold level date, but it looks like a pretty positive one so far. Um, we ended up asking him about a couple of things, finding out like his, what's it called? Archetype. Um, you can see his, you know, sexual orientation and all of that stuff. Cause we did ask him that. And then it, we just ended up flirting with him for a while. Um, so it just, it did end up being a pretty nice date and then we had that good that good reputation pop up which i don't think i've ever actually had a sim have the bad reputation but it just kind of gives you a positive boost when you go meet people which is really nice um so what else do we do we're just we're just flirting and waiting for our, our cupcakes at this point because it was like i'm not gonna get all the way to the top of the gold level unless I magically can talk about those cupcakes really heavily when they arrive. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to make them like me a whole bunch. Um, <laughs> so, so that was where, that's where we went with that. So like you can see a bunch of people standing up here by the window at the top of the screen. So you can actually click on um, those, like that pan right there that's in the window if it's like for your table and just go ahead and deliver it it's one of the things in carl's mod to help fix things when they get stuck but in this case like you can see on the the right side um the issue was that that last plate had never been cleared and so she came and cleared it and then you see her go well i guess not i thought she was going to go to the window and get the cupcakes but she didn't um which is exactly what i'm doing here i'm literally like 
like uh, queuing up stuff for the two of them to talk about and watching that window. It ended up being, like I thought, a silver medal date. But then we're still just like sitting there waiting for our food. Um, we did end up getting a reward for it, which is nice. Silver is better than like bronze or having it be just like a terrible thing. Um, I did try and go into the household inventory, completely forgetting that you can't do that on a community lot. So I can't see what, um, what she got for it. That's, that's what I was doing there. Um, but see, you can click on it and hit serve food. But before she got a chance to do that, or did she do it? Did we do it? Oh, yeah. See, uh, the waitress kind of like snatched it out from underneath us. But with the mod to fix um, to fix the dine out experience from Carl, it, it gives you that option. So, I mean, we would have had the option if we hadn't sat there all that time. And then, like, I don't know what happened here. So she went to go look for a drink. What drink? I don't know. Because she doesn't have a drink. So it's like... It's like she got queued up to go drink a random drink that belongs to someone else. And now she's just, I don't know where she got that from. Like, it's not her drink. Her drink got cleared. So I don't know whose drink she's drinking, but whatever. She came back to the table because I was like, ma'am, um, I bought these cupcakes for y'all. Eat, eat the daggone cupcake. And now she's just, oh, doing all the things. Like, why did she not just sit down at the table? She walked all the way over here to this little park to sit down and eat the cupcake. Like, why? Why was that what you did? And then he's just not eating his cupcake at all. So at this point, I just gave up. Um, and I was just like, whatever, pay the bill. Which at this point with the cupcakes ended up being like 98 bucks. Dude, I got two BLTs, like six fries per plate two cupcakes and two drinks and I spent a hundred bucks like I know like some things in the sims aren't realistic that better not that cannot be realistic dude if I go to like a burger bar and I spend a hundred bucks on that I'm gonna be so upset so anyway yeah end of the date um she's exhausted and really has to pee which means it's gonna take her forever to walk across the map to get home so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of this out and I'll see you guys back at the apartment so she made it back to the apartment. Um, she's alone because the date was over. So homeboy left and went back home, of course. Um, but at this point, she's in the red for both bladder and energy. Um, she doesn't have class, I guess, today since it's like 3 a.m. on a Saturday. So she doesn't have class today. Um, so she doesn't have to worry about getting up at a certain time. But like, I don't want her to pass out either. So we just went ahead, had her go to the bathroom and head to bed. So to somewhat recap our day, since um, this is where we're going to end it for like this particular playthrough, um, the date she just went on, in case you guys didn't notice it, which is possible, um, was with a married guy. <laughs> I forgot that guy from Island Living is actually already married, um, but you know, it's fine. It's called a heartbreaker playthrough. I was bored. That's why I started to like play, you know, fiddling around and like flirting with him and stuff. And so here we are. We'll pick up here on our next playthrough with her asleep in the bed early Saturday morning. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed recording it. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you could go ahead and give me a subscribe, maybe like and comment on the video, and I'll see you guys next week. From the dust, I was born to the dirt, I shall return when my eyes are closed in the shadows, my enemies.